Okay, we'll see you then, Steve. Thank you. Well, for the second time, a teen living with cerebral palsy is getting a helping hand from the Washington Redskins. We first introduced you to Juwan Espinal in May when he was asked to the prom with the help of RG3. Well, tonight, it was Pierre Garcon who stepped up to the plate. Tom Rousey live in Arlington tonight to explain. Tom, what a great story. Uh, it definitely is. This was a fundraiser tonight. It was held at this Paisano's. And over here in the corner, you had two people sitting next to each other. You had a star of the Washington Redskins, a young man who, even though he can't communicate verbally, has won a lot of friends with his personality and his winning smile. When most people need a hand, they don't get help from a Redskin. But for Centerville High student Jawan Espinal, it's happened twice. Tonight, wide receiver Pierre Garçon. In the spring, it was quarterback RG3 who helped Jawan's classmate ask him to the prom. I think the Redskins and him make a great team, don't they? Um, he loves them to death. Tonight, Garçon helped raise money so Jawan's family can buy something they say they desperately need. So we'll hit his head on this sometimes, and it's just like very hard for my mom to like put him in here. When they take Jawan anywhere, they have to do it in a car seat, and if they don't put him in just right, it can hurt him. A car seat isn't that good for him, like at all. Jawan's mom says it has severely restricted where he can go. I haven't been able to really go out and go to the grocery store like you and I would be able to. We just show him pictures of what he would like in a grocery list, and he'll pick. Tonight's fundraiser was to help the Espinals buy a specialized van that would allow Jawan to ride without leaving his wheelchair. Fans who met Garcon paid $25 to raise money for it. It's all about, you know, just helping, making somebody else's life a little bit easier. It's better than, you know, scoring a touchdown, you know, playing football. And Jawan had a very good day. But even when he's in pain, his mom says that smile is still there. Paisano says over the next five days, when customers mention Juwan's name, they're going to donate more money to this cause. But will it be enough to buy one of those vans? They run in the tens of thousands of dollars. Well, we asked Garcon about that tonight, and he said, I guarantee this is going to happen. Live tonight in Arlington, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Oh, that's so great. Just warms your heart, Tom. Thank you. Well, still to come tonight, aftershocks following that massive earthquake.